What's up, everybody? It's JD, your guide to exploring how past technology shapes our present and where AI is taking us next. AI has been around for decades, but recent innovations have made it possible to actually chat with a specific type called generative AI. Now, with just a sentence or two, we can ask it to create an image of almost anything we can dream up. This kind of request is known as a text to image prompt. By now, you've probably seen some incredible images created by AI, but if you've tried using one of these generative AI tools, you might have noticed how tricky it can be to get images without some anatomical quirks, especially when it comes to human hands. Generative AI is undoubtedly a powerful tool that enhances human creativity, and I've definitely had my share of frustrating experiences with these quirks which are often referred to in the AI world as hallucinations, or maybe a better way to describe it would be an educated guess. It's been a big problem in generative AI for a while now, and I'm wondering at this point, are the freaky fingers a feature, a bug, or is something more sinister going on? Let's do a quick experiment to find out what's really happening. I asked one of my favorite gen AI tools, Leonardo, to generate a lone woman sitting in a truck during the Great Depression. Well, that looks pretty good. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Or how about a gleaming sci-fi cityscape under a blue sky? Well, that looks pretty awesome. Let's try some more surreal prompts, like a post-apocalyptic motorcycle gang of dogs. Uh, cute Star Wars pets. How about a raspberry alien life form? A dragon versus World War II soldiers. All good. You'll agree that AI is pretty decent at generating realistic images, right? But what happens when we create something with the human hand in view? I asked the AI to then pull back and do a full torso rendering of the Great Depression lady from earlier. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're starting to see some interesting anomalies. How about an attractive woman holding up a 1990s cell phone? If you're old enough to remember, those things were absolute bricks. Let's see how the AI handles that one. Oh, oh whoops. The AI actually confused one of her fingers for an antenna. That, that's hilarious. Let's try one more. How about a baker kneading dough on a stainless steel table in the kitchen. Oh man, I, I can't spell. I put in banker and I guess we got a young Dick Cheney hoarding all the dough. <laughs> but um, I mean, even with additional renderings, the greedy banker still has his mutant hands all over the dough. But seriously, what's going on here? After a bit of research, I discovered two main reasons why AI struggles with creating realistic hands. First, there's just a lack of detailed hand-focused photos to teach or train AI what hands truly look like. And number two, the flexibility of the human hand, being able to grip, point, wave, bend at different angles, adds complexity, making it much harder for AI to replicate them accurately. The first reason comes from the quality of AI images is learning from. Generative AI is trained on images by looking at a huge collection of pictures and breaking them down into tiny pieces called pixels. As it analyzes these images, it learns to recognize different shapes, colors, and patterns. Along with this, the AI also uses tags or text descriptions that explain what's in the images. Think of it like a child learning to draw by observing real life objects and getting guidance on what each object is. Over time, the AI gets better at creating new images that resemble what it has seen. The more images and descriptions it processes, the more skilled it becomes at generating its own unique artwork based on what it has learned. So, hands aren't usually the main focus in images with human subjects, and there aren't enough photos of hands with meaningful text descriptions to train AI on the finer details of hands. These descriptions don't go beyond saying anything more than holding, pointing, and gripping. This brings us to the second issue. 
Hands are complex and much less predictable than faces. While faces generally have similar structures, like the eyes, nose, and mouth in fixed locations, hands can show different numbers of fingers depending on what angle and positioning. And AI hasn't learned the fundamental rules about hands, like that they only have five fingers, right-handed versus left-handed, so as a result, it creates hand-like structures with just enough skin texture and tone into what it thinks is a human hand. On top of that, human standards for hands are very high. Our minds immediately notice when something's off. A close enough approach works fine for things like hair or freckles, and if an AI model misses the mark on how many freckles are on someone's face, we usually don't mind. But with hands, that same level of imprecision feels unsettling. A great example of this is the five freckles experiment. To recreate, I prompted the AI to generate an image of a boy with exactly five freckles. It's very likely the AI has never seen a face with just five freckles, so it just guesses and produces a sun-kissed face with varied freckling across four images that it produced, which still feels natural to us, but if a finger appears at an odd angle when the AI guesses, it would have the opposite effect. AI's hand challenge isn't unique to just hands. It extends to other areas with distinct patterns, like teeth and abs. Without internalizing rules like hands have five fingers, AI can end up generating horses with six legs or bodybuilders with extra abs. And so the uncanny valley effect kicks in. The territory in the human psyche where something is too real to be fake and too fake to be real. A cognitive dissonance is triggered and because both cannot be true at the same time, our bias kicks in. Despite these issues, AI models are improving through more diverse image sets and human feedback allowing them to get closer to meeting human standards or innate bias towards perfect hands. While the journey to lifelike hands is ongoing, advancements in AI art are happening rapidly. However, not everyone is eager to fix this issue because the uncanny valley effect often helps us tell AI images apart from human-made art. So perhaps freaky fingers are more of a feature than a bug. If you want to see more of this kind of content, show the algorithm like, subscribe. What do you think? Should those freaky fingers stay as they are, or should we aim for picture-perfect hands? Or maybe there's another way to keep AI-generated content distinguishable from human-made art. Comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.